hello i don't know if this will ever see the light of day but if you're watching this that means that march 25th was exciting <music> everyone welcome back to my channel my name is logan if you've never been here before and i am a pop culture junkie hence this vlog so tomorrow march 25th is like one of those pop culture days where like everything is happening you know what i'm talking about like we get those every once in a while where like tons of artists are releasing there's like films coming out new seasons dropping like just a ton of stuff going on and march 25th is one of those days i would also like to say that harry and taylor are always simultaneously doing things at the same time and i'm like you need to like spread it out because my poor little heart can't handle it okay anyway so tomorrow there are a ton of artists releasing music um wallows are coming out with a new album so i'm super excited to listen to that um i think phineas is dropping music um harry styles potentially his single is coming out tomorrow i don't know if it'll be at midnight i don't know if it will be at noon i have a feeling it's gonna be friday though because i think it'd be kind of weird that he announced his album on wednesday and there's not a single on friday um taylor swift's carolina single could come out on tomorrow i don't know it is 11 23 i guess we'll see in 40 minutes what happens the two confirmed things are that bridgerson season two is dropping on netflix tonight and driving home to you the olivia rodrigo documentary is coming out i'll probably watch that in the morning though because it's coming out like 3 a.m my time so yeah, I'm currently writing an essay. Um, slay. We'll see. We'll see how this vlog goes. Um, last year, I probably told this story before, but um, I was quarantined for my 19th birthday in 2021, and my roommate and I watched all of Bridgerton in one night. We started it at like 8 p.m., and we were up until literally 5 in the morning. Um, All is fair. Okay, it's probably about to come out. And we will see if Harry drops um, a single, but if anything, I can listen to um, Wallows, which is exciting, because I love them, and I've loved the songs that they've released um, so far from Tell Me That It's Over. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be on there soon. That's crazy. Like, literally all of my friends are staying up because we don't know if he's going to release it, like, tonight, if he'll release it at noon, like he has been, or if it's literally, like, just not going to be a thing and we just won't get a single tomorrow, which is fine. Um, oh my god, this comparison of Timothy Chalamet and Just Mariano just came on my Instagram and did not need to see that. I've also only watched this show once and it was over a year ago. So I had to watch like a recap because I haven't seen it again. <gasps> oh, it's midnight. Brr. It's midnight. <gasps> Does it not come on yet? I'm just impatient. Maybe it doesn't come on till 3 a.m. <gasps> Guys. I bet it doesn't drop until 3 a.m. because of California time. Um, yeah, it'll probably drop 12 a.m. PST. Same with Olivia Rodrigo's documentary. It's kind of depressing. Anyway. I don't think we're going to get a single at midnight, but maybe it'll come out at noon. Maybe. Um, but tomorrow's going to be exciting. Okay, besties. I'm about to go to sleep, but I wanted to do a little, like, Harry's house, bef um, like, prediction before any of the songs come out. So, I feel like it is definitely a COVID album, obviously, but I feel like it is a take on being at home and like reconnecting with childhood and nostalgia um because i feel like a lot of us did that in quarantine we did things that we used to do when we were little or we like reflected on our childhood while we were stuck in our house um and i feel like it's gonna be very nostalgic i'm just getting that from like the color palette and the photo shoot um and yeah obviously like the you are home thing is like we are home like we are his home and i think that's so cute but i also think it's like realistically being stuck at home and like what that means and the things that you connect with i think it's going to be a, a kind of a different take on a COVID album you know because obviously folklore was a COVID album and it was very imaginative and very quarantine -y. 
but I feel like this one is going to be a very different feel and I really like that um, and I'm so excited. I'm an HS1 stan through and through like I freaking love like Harry Styles like the album it is so good and I feel like this new one has potential to beat HS1 and that's kind of crazy I don't know I'm just so like I love fine line obviously um I love the fine line era but I just think that like there's just something about HS1 that brings me so much comfort. Good morning, guys. It is 8.30. Um, I have woken up early because I have a lot of pop culture things that I have to attend to. So, number one, I'm going to watch the Driving Home to You documentary because, I mean, I don't want it to get, like, spoiled or anything when I get on TikTok. So, that is step number one. And then we will be watching Bridgerton all day. Um, I have work at 11. And then I have um, a organization, like a club that I'm in. I do that from one to four. So hopefully we can get my essay done. Um, yeah. Okay, slay. Okay, here we go. Let's find it. So I have to search it. There she is. Look at that. A new song just played, guys. Literally, release it. Release it, Olivia. Really? Yeah. That was so good. Slay. Girl, had those lippies. I feel this hold on me loosen more and more lately. That's a lovely feeling. I'm still very much not able to fall for anyone else, though. Like, I can't. Her little diary entry about getting her driver's license. That's so cute. And then I remember being like, in quarantine and her posting her driver's license video and i would like listen to it non-stop because it was just so good Ugh. knowing that it might be something special if not to anyone else just to me i'm pretty sure she also posted that on one of the other most infamous pop culture days ever which was july 23rd and july 24th 2020 i'm pretty sure i just want to say that i am a deja vu stan i'm obsessed with that song it is so beautiful there's just something about it, okay? Like. In this album, Aaron, this girl's vocabulary is so good. She just said unabashedly. I don't even know what that means. I was watching this scene and I literally thought, am I even kidding? I literally thought that was Doja Cat. And then I was like, no, that doesn't make sense. Why would Doja Cat like be in this movie? It's literally her in pink, pink, pink. And what's been pink? Yeah, the second album rumors have been pink. I am obsessed with this brutal performance. It's like under a plane. Look at that. That is sick. That is so sick. If she doesn't open tour with this, Hope You're Okay is my favorite song on the album, and this is such a little beautiful rendition of it. I'm just... Middle school friend. It has begun. <laughs> Shonda Rhimes, I freaking love you, Queen. You make such good TV. Slay. If I say that one more time, keep a slight count. Keep a slight count. So far, I'm like 15 minutes in. I like it. I like it. I am about to head to work, um, but I will get to watch more episodes later update i got a really exciting audition come through my email today and just made my day anyway i just need to share update i'm still on episode one of bridgerton but i'm cleaning the apartment and making spaghetti slay this is this is yummy gluten-free spaghetti that i got from one of my neighbors Okay, I'm currently in the middle of episode two. I'm eating popcorn. I finished my essay, ladies. It's 8.30. Um, I'm gone all weekend, so hopefully I can finish this or like get further in it. Um, here's my thoughts so far. What's her name? Edwina's sister? Icon. Literal icon. Anthony needs a patriarchy check. He does. And Edwina's sister is going to give him that. Because man's is a little... He's a little, uh, entitled. Um, secondly, Miss Eloise, she does not need a man. She doesn't. 
she sings the we have the iconic song from abigail barlow and emily bear called if i were a man like girly doesn't need a man but if she was gonna date one i hope it's this boy um that is like outside of the building when she's trying to track down the paper i haven't heard the harry styles strings song yet but i did hear material girl but madonna was kind of fire um i'm still on episode two but i also appreciate how it's a lot less like raunchy this season the last season i just feel like it was like a lot and i just did not enjoy it so i'm glad that they had to step back from that a little bit it's kind of a hot take i guess but guys maybe 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 I'm in love oh, with Jonathan Bailey. Maybe. <laughs> One week later. We'll see. What's that? No, I definitely am. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Lady Bridgerton is such an interesting character. Um, if you haven't watched it, then don't watch this part. I'm on season or um episode three of season two right now. And like I feel for her. I really, really do. Like it's awful. It's horrible that her husband died. Um, and like, I just can't, I just can't imagine like him dying suddenly and then you just having seven children and not knowing what to do. But I also feel for like Anthony and his siblings, like they need their mom, you know? I love this like theme of duty versus love. Like I'm such a fan of it. The tension in this dinner scene. <laughs> The enemies to lovers. I, I feel so bad for Edwina. She deserves the world. Oh, girly, it's okay. Never say such a thing. She is my absolute favorite. Like she's so funny. Eloise is hilarious. Eloise is a feminist queen. She's a feminist queen. The implications of them using this song. It's about to get a little messy. Episode 4 was fire. That was so good. Forget Jonathan Bailey. I'm in love with the man from episode 5. Several. He's oh, I'm I'm back to Jonathan Bailey standing. <coughs> They're playing Sign of the Times. It's Sign of the Times. Ooh, this is a really intense scene too. Hi friends, it's morning. I'm on episode seven. Um, I just like this season so much better. It's just so good. Hello friends. So it's been a week. Um, since I watched Bridgerton, I finished episode 8 while I was on a work retreat, and so I didn't vlog. But I've had a week to kind of digest my thoughts, um, re-watch scenes, get really enthralled with the show because of Bridgerton TikTok. Um, and I just have so many thoughts. First of all, episode 8. Like, literally no words. Like, episode 8 was fire. Um, it's so good. I literally love season two so much. I think it's one of the best seasons like of television ever. It's so good. So well written. The acting is exquisite. Definitely written for women. Like the way that the shots were and like the cinematography, um, the hand holding, the tension, like, oh my gosh. The scene where he does the three and the four, I literally have watched that like 80 times. I'm not even kidding. Um, everything about season two is just good. It's just good. Um, I like that it didn't end on as much of a cliffhanger. Um, I appreciate that, because uh, I know there's going to be more seasons, obviously. Um, but I like that it wasn't as big of a, like, a cliffhanger. It was just kind of like a happily ever after kind of vibe, which I liked. Um, I saw something about how there's, like, a bee, and it, season one ends with a bee. Um, and how that's, like, the dad watching over them, and I think that's so cute. Um, I am on Anthony Bridgerton TikTok, um, so I cannot escape this man. I have rewatched 
all the scenes from season two. <laughs> um, I'm such a, a Cantonese stan. They're so cute. Um, I hope that next season we get to see Edwina find her man. Um, but like, it's just literally, this. you know the speech I'm talking about. You know the speech I'm talking about in eight, episode eight. I can't get it out of my brain. I just can't get it out of my brain. I, this is why standards are so high. People wonder, it's because of shows like this. It's because of Anthony Bridgerton. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching Bridgerton with me. Um, it, it's my fangirl nature. I'm actually reading fangirl right now for class. Um, but fangirl is my middle name. So thank you for coming on this adventure with me. Um, also, March 25th, Harry did not release a single, but it's been a week, and we have a new Harry Styles single, so slay! If you haven't seen my Harry Styles video, I will have it linked down below. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!